Let's see how to use Let's Encrypt to generate and configure an SSL certificate in our Nginx server. There's two crucial things that are gonna make this super easy. One is using H5BP's server configuration, which has a bunch of good presets for us. And two is using CertBot, which is the Let's Encrypt tool, with a one-liner that doesn't need any plugins or any extra configuration. It just does what we want it to do all in one shot. We're gonna generate our certificate in just a second, but first we have to see two things, and that is uh, the setup that we have currently. So the first of those two things, it's our Nginx configuration, and that's just listening on port 80, and any request it receives, it just sends to PHP to um, send to our Laravel application. So that's a completely basic kind of um, normal Nginx configuration without SSL stuff in it. The second thing is that I have DNS set up for our app here uh, for this someapp.xyz domain that is already all set. So it's pointing to the server, right? The IP address of that uh, host name, someapp.xyz, points to our web server, which is what we need to generate a certificate with Let's Encrypt. Now, of course, we also need CertBot, right? So if I type in which CertBot it's going to find that I already have it installed, if you don't have this already, you can just Google uh, install CertBot. The very first thing will be the certbot.eff.org site, and that has instructions on how to install it, right? In our case, it will be Nginx. And I have Ubuntu 22, but Ubuntu 20 and Snap is the same thing. It just gives you the same instructions on running the first command and this second command, these two right here. And that will just install CertBot quick and easy. All right, let's do something really fun. I'm going to set a timer here, and we are going to see how long it takes me to generate a certificate and configure Nginx. Hopefully, it should be about 30 seconds. First thing we're going to do is run this command. Let me just explain it first before I actually go into and just run it. So the command is certbot. We're going to say cert only, which means create a certificate for us, but don't do any extra configuration, right? Don't use an Nginx plugin. Don't try to configure my Nginx. Don't spin up a standalone web server. I have a web server already for you to use certbot, so don't do anything else. We're going to say the web root method, which tells certbot to put files in the web root that we provide. Don't try to create one yourself. And that web root is var dub at public, where our Laravel application is. Um, we're going to do a certificate for these two domains, right? The domain and the www version of it. We're going to do a post hook. The post hook tells this to reload Nginx after it creates a new certificate or after it uh, refreshes that certificate before it expires. Nginx needs to get reloaded to load in the new uh, cert file. So that's why it does that. Non-interactive, I don't want any interaction. Uh, agree to the terms of service. In other words, um, well, you have to do that for no interactive, right? Uh, the email provided for notifications is this email, and I'm going to do force renewal because I've done this in testing a bunch of times already, and I need to force a renewal because the certificate that I have on the server already in my testing is not up for renewal yet. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we can start the clock. I'll get this ready because my thing has turned off in the meantime while I've been jibber-jabbering. We're ready to start. And go. So we're going to make a certificate. This certificate is already all done. So we're going to do sudo vim and edit our configuration and see what we need to configure. The configuration we need to do here is 443. Tell uh, Nginx we're going to do SSL. Tell Nginx we want HTTP2 just because we can. And then we can put in some certificate stuff here. That certificate stuff is this, which just enables SSL, tells Nginx where these certificates are, sets a strict policy, which is H5BP boilerplate sudo service nginx reload, head on over here to our browser. This is not going to work yet, but I will in a second. And there we go. We did it. That was in like 37 seconds because I did stuff a little slow. No big deal. Good enough. Let's go ahead and just see what we did there. So if I head on back over to our nginx configuration, we'll just see what we did again. Um, in this case, we're just listening to port 443, which is the SSL uh, port typically used. We're going to enable SSL in Nginx. We're going to say we want to use HTTP2, which is optional, but it's better, so use it. And then we include the HIVP stuff. The SSL engine stuff is just setting some good defaults for SSL. Policy strict, I showed you just a second ago to enable uh, TLS 1.2 and 1.3. And then we just say where our certificates live. And then the rest of this is boilerplate, uh, HIVP Nginx boilerplate. Now, I want to show you two things that are really important to getting this configuration up to snuff. You might remember that at first this didn't work, and that's because if we went to the HTTP version, it just totally failed. Let's go ahead and see why that is. If we go to um, a different configuration here, I have a few things, but there's no SSL defaults.com file. And what that is doing is listening in port 80 for non-SSL connections. If it receives a non-SSL connection, it's going to return 444, which is a, a non-response response, something weird. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And instead, we are going to return 301, a 301 redirect to the HTTPS version of the request we just received. 
So I'll do sudo nginx dash t to test it. That looks good. nginx reload to get that working. Refresh this and it gets redirected to the HTTPS version. Perfect. The second thing we'll do here real quick is handle the www version of this domain, right? This version does not get redirected to the uh, root domain. So the www version works, but our browser thinks it's a different website because it's a different domain. Now you could set cookie settings so the www version works with the root domain, but I prefer to just redirect to the root domain totally. If I go to the HIVP nginx configuration, we'll see an example of that. So I'll head here, go into comp.d, there's examples here, so templates. We'll go into example.com.conf and at the very top, there's a configuration for that that just redirects to the non www version of our example.com domain. I can copy and paste that, head back to our configuration here. We're going to edit the same configuration we saw before, which is the someapp.conf file. Head to the top here and just paste in what we saw before. I can get rid of the IPv6 version of this because my server doesn't have IPv6 support. This is going to be for www.someapp.xyz. And uh, this is all the same except here. I'm going to copy the SSL certificate path and stuff and not use the HIVP's assumed thing, which is that certificate files account file. We'll get rid of that. Paste in my certificate stuff, get rid of that extra line. And I did forget one thing. Instead of example.com um, here, we need our own domain, right? So that is some app.xyz. It's going to redirect to the root directory are the root domain, some app.xyz for us. Let's test this configuration. Good. We'll reload it and we'll see. I'm going to use curl for this. So if I do a curl dash uh, big I, so it's a head request to HTTPS, some app.xyz, I get a 200 response. If I do the www version, I get hopefully a redirect, a 301 redirect telling me to go to the non www version. Perfect. All right. So those are two crucial things that you still probably want to set up for your Nginx configuration as well. The very last important thing I want to tell you about is that I used H5VP for this configuration. Obviously, I told you that the whole time. If you want to use the H5VP configuration, I have a video on setting it up. It's really easy. You should definitely check it out.